Hi everyone, my name is Declan McGlynn. Welcome to Friday Forum Live, Point Blank's weekly live broadcast bringing you exclusive tutorials, artist interviews and industry insight live from East London. Today we're joined by legendary musical alchemist Tom Middleton. He'll be taking our live make a track challenge, so stay tuned. Before we get started, here's this week's update from Point Blank. Our April term at the London studios is nearly full, so if you want a place, visit pointblanklondon.com now and book yourself in. If you're interested in taking an online course with us, next term is March 31st and you can enroll online at online.pointblanklondon.com. If you're into what Tom does today, you may be interested in our Deep House modules, so look out for those on the site. We're also giving away Tractor Control S2, Tractor Pro, and a pair of III DJ headphones. It's a perfect prize for digital DJs, so head over to plus.pointblanklondon.com for more info on how you can win that prize. For anyone interested in the Roland Ira range, which is probably most of you, we'll be packing out the London School with the TR8 and the TB3 as of next week. So if you want to try them out, book yourself on a course as soon as possible. Back to today though, and we're joined by a genre-defining artist who began his career alongside his eminence Richard D. James, and has since worked with and remixed the likes of Kanye West, Prince, Lady Gaga, Golf Rap, Orbital, and many more. Today, Tom will be taking our Make a Track challenge using his new Loop Master sample pack, Deep Bass House. So yeah, welcome, Tom. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are Hello. you? You all right? Good, ready for the challenge. Excellent. So do you want to tell us a bit about your, um, your sample pack before we get into it? Sure. Um, so I kind of had this idea of, of um, making something that was going to be really handy and useful for anyone that's kind of aspiring producer of house music, mm. Deep Bass House, there's a kind of current um, a trend for, let's say, uh, a retro style that, yeah, definitely. that definitely has an influence of kind of New York garage in the sort of early 90s, the sort of Chicago sound, the um, Detroit techno sound. So I've pulled together all those inspirations and influences that I was definitely um, a big fan of uh, back in the day and um, made a very kind of accessible pack that's um, got some really useful tools just to get things going very quickly. Um, what I find is that sometimes when you can be faced with a sort of um, blank screen is what we're going to do today. So mm. what do you want to do? What can you do? Um, this sample pack, I've actually made it really easy for people to just get, get a vibe going quite quickly and then you can kind of develop it from there. So everything's in the key of C, everything's at 125 BPM. Nice and simple. You can change the pitch if you want using all the, the standard tools in a DAW like um, Live or Logic. Mm. Um, but basically it's a kind of instant let's get going let's get some fun tunes happening as quick as possible without having to think too much about um, the key of the track um, you can take things beyond once you've kind of got to that point but sure. to start with let's get a vibe going so, yeah. um, so maybe we should we do that yeah so here we go and just so you know guys we'll be giving you a discount um, for Tom's back 20% off at the end of the show so make sure you're still around to get the code um, so we're in Ableton Live today, right? Yeah, I, I figured Ableton Live. that you know a lot of people use this um, this this software, and you know this is the, the the usual way they start. It's a blank kind of grey screen. So just kicking things off, I've loaded in my um, Deep Bass House sample pack, and let's let's get some um, some grooves happening very quickly. Um, that way you start getting a vibe. Mm. Uh, so I was thinking let's let's maybe look at um, some of the tops, which are let's say the the um, percussive drum elements that are not necessarily kicks and snares, but the, the top end of the, uh, the frequency the spectrum. Groovy stuff. Exactly, to get a bit of a shuffle going. Um, I've made some of these for you. I'll just quickly audition a few so you can hear all the sort of stuff we've got here. So a variety of different bits and pieces ready to go using kind of traditional 909 sounds. Um, all of it quite shuffly and swingy, which is mm. very de jour, but it's kind of how I like it. It's got to have the funk and the soul and the swing, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to try and find something that I think... See, that's got a nice little swing to it. We might come back to it in a minute, 37. And let's see. And then... This one I like because it's got a lot of elements that are going to be useful, ready to go, off the mm. bat. We've got um, some closed hats, some open hats, and some snares with some 
ghost snares swinging along. So let's pull that in and have a little listen to that. I'll put the click on so you can hear where the, the kick's going to be. So that, that's kind of a very useful get into the groove kind of vibe. It's swinging ready to go. Um, we need a kick. little gap for the kick each time. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a top loop. Um, let's get the kick loops open and have a little listen to some of the things we've got here. So if I uh, stop that and you sort of hear some of the flavours that I'm giving you here. So when I made these um, kick drums, I've given you a lot of quite chunky, mm. that's a kind of Bristol sounding kick. Um, if you like the sort of sound of Eats Everything or uh, you know Shadow Child. Um, using the um, uh, sample rate reduction to give it a bit of kind of SP 1200 yeah, exactly. and the old bite and crunch. Yeah, so, guys. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I want people to have uh, a bit of that flavour ready to go out of the box because sometimes you, you don't know that that's how those tracks were made. So I'm thinking, yeah. let's make it as, as easy and as fun as possible to just start making music rather than having to overthink on the production side sure. of things. And not only does that sound like the authentic style of the age, but it also, in a kind of scientific way, provides a high end something to bring out in the mix so the, mi the kick comes out in the exactly. higher end because it gives it that click and crunch and Absolutely right. generates harmonics. Precisely, thank you very much. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> so this that. one has got a bit of that um, aliased flavour to it. And I like this one because it's um, it's got the right amount of punch. Mm. Um, I processed this with um, some analog tape um, at the mastering stage. Oh, so um, it's got a bit of, tape, yeah. yeah. So part of my process is I will give you these sounds um, that have already gone through some processing, outboard hardware, um, high-end EQs, um, some tubes, some valves, some real warmth. Um, and that way, you know, once you start getting your, your sounds in the, the DAW, they've got a little bit of warmth and personality straight out of the box. Sure. So let's pull that in and have a little listen to that. I'm going to double up the bars. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to have to pull the, um, the level down of these clips. You can see at the bottom there with just in red a little bit. So let's pull that down a bit. That's fine. So, ready to go, mm. you've got a nice kind of shuffly swinging groove if you like the kind of contemporary house sound that's deep um, and bass focused and got the garage flavour. Um, what we need now, drums and bass. So let's get some bass happening. Um, I've got some loops, but actually I'd like to play my own bass line. Um, so I've made a bunch of uh, very useful bass sounds. I'll just stop the beat a minute and, and run you through some of the, um, the bass patches that I'm, I'm giving you. Um, and this, um, this is a pack that you, you bring into Ableton and the presets are kind of ready to go. So um, if I just load this one up here, this one on here. Uh, let's double click on that. So um, one of the things that's very typical of this particular uh, style of music at the moment is utilising an 808 kick drum, uh, or at least the click of an 808 plus some sub sine mm. wave um, to make super deep basses. And I love that. Um, it kind of uh, fuses everything that I love about house, techno, um, electro and even jungle and drum and bass, particularly sort of mid 90s sound. So this pack was came out of a conversation a few years ago about um, blending those elements together, the kind of liquid drum and bass with techno and, and house mm. elements. So liquid tech is the name that I give this sort of style, if you like. Um, so that's an 808. What else have we got in here? Um, a kind of overdriven bass. That will cut through a mix a bit better. Saturated tube. This very kind of um, uh, Detroit techno sounding bass sound that's quite contemporary. Yeah. I mean, you hear a lot of bass lines. So I've given you one of those. Um, some moodier ones. That's the, the, the classic um, DX100 bass. Yeah. Is it Lately Bass, is that what it's called? Precisely. 
from my own, bless it, little decrepit uh, <laughs> DX100. Okay. It was on its last legs. Some more garage sounding basses. Uh, the classic um, Reese Saunderson style detuned bass. So that's always um, a sound that is a go-to if you want that kind of drum and bass style bass, but for house music. Um, what else we got here? Um, but today, I want to use a, a bass that I've made using um, a sample from the Korg M1 organ, but I've added uh, a sine wave sub note to it. Okay. So it's a kind of an organ plus a sub note ready to go. Mm. Classic as well. It's kind of like all of these are like instant, just like load them up, this is the sound, get yeah, right in music. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you don't really, you know, want to get lost in having to make these things sometimes. You just want to know that, okay, I love this sound style of music, so let's get in and make whatever you want to make. Mm. So let's get the groove happening and then. Something like that is definitely going to work. I can hear that working already. I might need to kind of just bring that out a little bit. We've got competition at the moment with the frequencies. So let's just bring that down a little bit more. So I'm just pulling down the level of the clips in, in Ableton. And one thing I always is don't be afraid of pulling back the levels. I mean, we're working in the digital domain. It's not going to mess up the sound at all. Um, in fact, the more I learn about digital, the more I realised that actually more headroom is better than less. So we tend to kind of have things in red all the time, but just pull it back, just turn the main volume up. It's, mm. it's going to sound as good. As long as you're working 24-bit um, or, or higher, it's going to have all the kind of sound uh, dynamic range you need. So that, that could be working. Let's get that in. strange reason I'm recording live in front of the microphone that's not what we wanted at <laughs> no, all we don't want that. <laughs> so I want the sub org plank thank you very much and we've lost there he is let's do that again Bit of a baseline. I'm just going to dig it out. Isn't it? We're doing a lot of MK on Friday Forum recently. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that though. It's like a little happy accident. Uh, he's a, an inspiration for many. And uh, so I'm just going to correct these little erratums. See, that I'm really happy with. It's a simple, effective um, root note, fourth and a fifth. I know that that's going to work with a number of things now. So let's copy that across. Um, now, I haven't quantized that yet. I'm just thinking, do I quantize or don't I quantize? Because sometimes by quantizing, you kind of lose feel. I think we can definitely pull a bit of the feel back if we want to, and obviously live's great because you've got bundles of really, really useful tools for um, imparting grooves. So, for example, if we want to give it that authenticity, let's have a look at an MPC swing groove. So I reckon somewhere around 60%, maybe, maybe more, maybe 62% swing. Let's Slightly 
dia. with that let's make sure that this is absolutely on the one and that should be bang on good so You can see that actually they're not they're not actually exactly on on the grid and I think it's important to, to sort of try and go with something that feels right use your ear not necessarily the computer to give mm. you that kind of feel sometimes so Sometimes the, they're a little bit later, they're a bit earlier, but that's all part of the personality of a track. And I think, you know, once you've got your head around that concept, you can start um, giving your tracks much more unique personality rather than everything sounding like it's come out of the same box. Mm. Uh, that makes sense to everyone, but um, uh, yeah, sometimes it's worth quantizing things. In other situations, you know, beats, make sh making sure the kick's on the one, but the rest of it, you can, you can, can be much looser if you want to. Um, and in this case with bass, I think it's definitely uh, worth keeping it a little looser. It, it, it definitely adds to, adds to the flavour. So I'm happy with that. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, maybe we could copy that. So um, let's duplicate. And what I want to do is put those notes up a fifth. And by doing that, um, what will happen is we'll get more notes happening and more melodic content. So uh, let's grab these and then boom, 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 boom. that should be it. Fifth up is definitely what I was after. Right, so next, how are we doing for time? Right, we've got to get cracking. Let's find um, some other sounds in here that are going to be useful to uh, add some flavour to the track. So. Also in the pack, I've given you some music loops as well. Um, one shots and stabs and all kinds of other bits and pieces. Just useful, um, basic tools to kind of get things happening. Um, in the, let's see, um, presets, samples, let's go to music loops. So, quick listen through audition some of the stuff. Very authentic. <laughs> so we could try this with a track and see if some some of these sounds actually work in context. Let's let's give it a whirl. You never know. It's all in the key of C, so mm. it's, there's inevitability that it will work. Uh, nope. Not happy that at all. Um, let's find. Uh, Gotta be excited though. Sorry. <laughs> This lush pad is going to work very nicely. Samples. 
exactly what I'm after. Let's find a higher note. Let's go for C4. Take the warp off. Pull down the level. And I need that to be longer. So what I'm going to do is just loop that section, duplicate it, duplicate it, and extend the last bit there. So that should work. Um, I'm just going to crossfade these little parts here. Now, a nice little trick that works every time in my book. Um, the ducking sidechain style compression. So I'm just going to put a compressor on the string, open the sidechain, take the kick, which is on channel 2, and then pull the threshold down, increase the ratio, and let's have a listen, that should be pumping. Bit more release. So we now, we've now got, you know, a track very quickly. I wonder, I wonder if Declan, I'll throw you on, on the spot here. What if, what if, <laughs> what if we just recorded yes. you just singing or something? Because yeah. if I just throw this into record mode, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? I'll take I the reckon off. we're not in a perfectly acoustically tweeted environment for me to be able to translate my skills accurately. <laughs> Before we went on air, me and Tom were talking about it, and he was had a loop going, and I was just started singing along, jokingly, obviously. It was good. I'm telling you, it was good. It was really good. Well, I'm, I might just risk it and just try something. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do it together. Okay. There's power in numbers. Yeah, exactly. So if I just take off the loop, and what I might need to do is just uh, keep that looping, so we've got something in the background there. So let's just duplicate that. And just do a little live vocal session thing. Who knows what it's gonna sound like? Yeah, let's, just, let's just see what happens. It's Friday. So one, two, three, four, I think that's gonna work. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's gonna work. So we're rolling, it's recording, as and when. We need. Baby, feel me, <laughs> trust me, my body. Baby. <laughs> you know what? That's enough. We can work with that. Is it we enough? Can actually, we can actually work I, with I, that. Because I've yeah. got one. <laughs> it's kind of distorted as well. Yeah, that's... that's got to pitch that down now. That's already kind of sounding... <laughs> I kind of like it distorted though. By the way, I'll invoice you for all of this. <laughs> yes. It's going to be on the track. <laughs> Featuring. Baby. <laughs> Sounds great. It's pretty much perfect. Baby. <laughs> right. No, we can seriously. We can work with this. Don't, don't worry. Look, honestly, you know, if you're working in a bedroom, go that's for it. Thing, Try though. it just, out. Just, but that's yeah. just in the built-in microphone in the Mac, and that's brilliant. You know, you can just throw it in. Now we just put some simple little oh, bits of tune. production trickery <laughs> stuff on here, like this. <laughs> a little, little uh, song professional. Tune you. Yes, it's a hit. Now, what fun we can have with uh, some of the frequency shifter. I'm just putting this, these bits in live, but you know, it could be a, any kind of vocal vibe. And building an arrangement out of this would be quite quick. <laughs> That's 
so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's illustrating the point. It's the main <laughs> thing here. Yes, yeah, the you know the end justifies the means. <laughs> so we could put together an arrangement quite quickly. How are we doing that? Four minutes. Can I put an arrangement together in four minutes? Here's gonna this is gonna be a challenge. So um, kick. We don't need that to start with. Sometimes building an arrangement, you know what? It's instinctive. I'm lucky I've been DJing for about 25 years, so I kind of know how I want something to happen. Um, so let's start with a string. We're going to fade up. Um, uh, my favourite tool is this. I just made it it's like literally a high and low filter shelving EQ. So useful just very quickly for putting on various things to bring them in and out of the mix for a smooth intro and outro. So um, where are you, Mr. EQ? No, not there at all. Oh, very strange. I'll try again. Let's put you in there. And no, the EQ is not even appearing in the automation. Who knows why that's happening? Anyway, we can do a fade on this. So. So that will work. We could kind of do a little bit of an intro on the bass, introduce part of the theme, and then get rid of it. So so I just want that part first. So that will be my, let's say, intro bass. And I'll repeat that, so get rid of that. Um, and what I love about Ableton is it's so wonderful for kind of collaging tracks together. You know, you, that's what you want. Okay, fine, dupe it, done. So that's introducing. <laughs> Introduce the whole bass. Add the extra note. Don't um, forget, don't forget a little Absolutely. And then we can get the vocal, introduce it here. And then we're, we're off and running, I think. In fact, we could do a little sneaky little drop here. Get rid of that. In fact, get rid of everything. And then and then theoretically, that's everything in. And we're more or less kind of ready to build our track from there. So I've used the, this very clever little part of the, um, the beats interpretation in warping put it on transient with just one direction and pull down this, this number here and it kind of truncates the, the transients. It kind of creates like a volume thing and comes in Exactly, the exactly. Right? So it makes it more percussive. Yeah. I think that's pretty much, yeah. we're out of time. I mean, there's, there's the essence of something in there. You have to re <laughs> maybe rework a few elements, but Declan, thank you for the, uh, yeah, the vocal works. session. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, as Tom said, we're just about out of time, but uh, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming in, man. That was amazing. Um, kind of feel like I need to go and work on my vocals, but uh, <laughs> we do have a discount for uh, Tom's sample pack. If you uh, 
enjoyed some of the science he went through today. Um, if you go to loopmasters.com and enter the code TMID20, you'll get 20% off uh, Tom's pack. And uh, we've also got some very exciting Native Instruments pre videos coming very soon on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and uh, you'll get first peek at something that we're bringing very soon. Um, and then make sure you keep track with us all next week on our Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll be bringing you loads of free tutorials. And uh, until next Friday, we'll see you then. Thanks. Yeah.